please. My welcome, Andrew Chambers! <laughs> Supermarket's a sexy place, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe just for me, really. I tend to find myself, I walk into a supermarket these days, doesn't matter what chain, I walk up into the laundry detergent aisle, just walk straight over, make sure no one's looking at me, look left, look right, bang, and straight into the fabric softener. Pull out one of them fluffy little pouches, just have a bit of a squeeze, a bit of a look, just caress it, just a little bit. I'm always told me when you're buying fabric softener refill pouches, that they make your bed smell nice, and if you put them in your bed, they make the aroma, make it smell nice and really comfortable for when you go to sleep. Means, uh, yeah, it really confuses me when I have 47 of them at home. Uh, so I'm sitting there in the, in the supermarket aisle squeezing it, um, which makes me look like a bit of a creepo, but I've been told that if you squeeze it twice, it's okay, but three times you're playing with it. Um, so well, when I buy my, my supermarket sachet e pouch, I tend to go through a bit of a stroll around. Now, ladies, I just want to tell you, I'm not really one of those uh, kind of guys. Look, I'm not, a, I'm not one of those guys who just gets in there and gets out, okay? I'm, not, I'm one of those guys who just likes to take my time. You know, just yet. I'm not going to be just like, bang, bang, in, out, no, greedy for me, no. Get my thing, like a lot of other guys, roo. No, me, I walk in, say hi to the cashiers, I walk past, I'm like, I'm going to make the supermarket feel loved. Just caress it a little bit. Get my fluffy and I walk up the aisles, or down the aisles. I walk up the aisles. <laughs> Down the <laughs> then grab a packet of Arrowroot biscuits and get the fuck out. <laughs> get them bad boys home. Yay. <sighs> Otherwise, eating the car. Good love an Arrowroot biscuit, <laughs> don't you? Um, okay, so you know one thing that does piss me off. Look, that's one thing I do love. One thing that pisses me off on the opposite end of the spectrum. I don't like. I don't like department store change rooms. Actually, any change room for that matter. They're small, they're dinky, they give me a little bit of claustrophobia. But it's not that. It's not the claustrophobia that I don't like. It's the fact of that little pissy hook. One hook, that's all you get. One hook. The shitty one, you get one big one and then one little one. You get one, which they're like, yeah, that'll do. And then like the ridiculous little brother, which is like, you know, he tags along just for, you know, just for good looks. He can't fucking do anything with him. So you just go, you know what? I, I took in the other day, I went in to buy some new clothes just because, I mean, yeah, you have to every once in a while. Can't just walk around naked around the supermarket. That'd be fucking weird. Um, so, so I... I go into the change rooms and I, I come out of there, try all my stuff on, I take in six because I, I like to just take the absolute maximum. I tell them five and then they look at it and say, you're sure? I said, no, it's seven. And they go, do you want to give you seven and it's six? And I'm like, just fucking give me seven. You know, I just like to really throw a spanner in the works, just make her job a living hell. And then I come out and then do you know what I don't like? You come out and she says to me, excuse me, would you like me to help you? Would you like me to take your words for you? I said, fucking yes! Yes, I want you to take them! One fucking hook! I got, one, I got two clothes that I want to change the size, two clothes I don't like, and two of them that I do want, but no! Now, unfortunately, I only get one hook to choose from them all, but that's alright, don't worry about it. I'll just take them fucking all, you know what, don't worry about it, you just take them all, put them in your change room of glorious hooks that you apparently must have out the back. <sighs> Mind you, she just stands there and goes, <sighs> Security check to the change room, please. Security check to the change room, please. Mind you, I'm not allowed to Kmart anymore. Give me bargains somewhere else. All right, so look, basically, what I wanted to do tonight, I wanted to take a couple of stories about me, and I also wanted to have a really big finish, right? I really wanted to sort of build it up, nice big roller coaster, and then a really big bang, so a really big... Un so basically, nothing like my sex life. Um, so what I want you to do is I am going to... I am going to insert some thoughts into your brain, 
hole, into your memory hole, into your brain sponge. This is what's going to happen. I am going to stand here, I'm going to increase your creativity levels by in introducing you to the sounds, the amazingness of the stage and the capability and the opportunity this would have. You have to imagine with me, to use your imagination. Behind me, we're going to have these amazing speakers. Look at these speakers, they're amazing. Look at them, they're crazy. They're huge, huge speakers. And then over here, we're going to have the screens. It's absolutely crazy. There's girls, there's dancing, the backup singers are crazy. There's people half taking their clothes off. It's ridiculous. Don't look at them, look at me. What's going to happen is while you're doing that, this is crazy. I'm just going to be sitting here rocking out. Absolutely. We're going to have some pirate text that's going to go like this. Going to... That's pyrotechnics there. I don't know if you guys caught on as pyrotechnics. And then it's just going to be like this. It's going to be laser. It's just going to be like, boo, 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 boo. It's crazy. It's just going to be going out crazy like a boat. Sorry, I didn't mean, I just kind of got your knee over, sorry about that. So they're lasers, like, just catch, just be careful. And then you've got the smoke machines. Just... Wait, well, is that a little bit at the end? The smoke machines, weird, I, don't know. I think the temperamental problems. Uh, once again, like my sex life. So this is what's going to happen. I need you guys to join in with me, right? So this is what's going to happen. We're going to see, it's going to be amazing. The imagination is going to absolutely kill it. Oh, smack me face. Whoa. Oh, we're gonna, the m is absolutely going to kill it. You guys are going to start a clap like this. Whoa. And then what's going to happen is, we're going to start a clap. Then now we're going to do this. The Americans is going to go absolutely crazy. The poor Texans are going to go up. Well. The crazy looks like this. Then I'm going to get you to give me a bit of a chance. I'm going to just go. Andy! 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 Come on, get it again. Thank you very much, I'm going to the supermarket.